Good morning all. Now today we're going to connect the Indramat servo drive. And this drive is model number DDSO2.1 W100D. We're going to connect the RS232 COM port X2 to the laptop. Then we're going to bring up Windows Hyper Terminal and set it up to communicate to this drive. Got my homemade cable here. I'm going to connect this to X2. And then on the back of the laptop, I'm going to connect the DB9 connector to COM port 1. Let's get close to the laptop and we'll take a look at how we set up hyper terminal to communicate with that drive. I've opened up hyper terminal and we're going to give our connection description a name. We're going to name it Indramat Com. We're going to leave the little telephone icon the same click on OK now connect to we want to go down here to this drop down menu connect using COM port 1 that's the COM port that we're connected to click OK bits per second we're going to select 9600 we're going to leave the data bits to 8, parity none, stop bit 1, flow control hardware. And we're going to click OK. Now, I'm going to power up the drive. And we are connected. Press the enter key on the keyboard to start parameterization and diagnostic program. Now here is the very first menu. We have item number one, drive status. Item number two, parameters. Item number three, language selection and the escape key. So we're going to press the number one key first. And this is the drive status. It's pretty interesting. It tells us the motor type, the drive type, the software version, and these right here you can see them changing. The active operation mode is velocity regulation. And these are real time values. If we were to run that motor, we could look at the RPM, the current, torque, and Newton meters. A lot of interesting data right there. Down here's some interesting items. There's the RF switch input and the AH switch input.
let's press the escape key and we'll go to drive parameters now they're telling us to be careful since changing the gains of the drive can cause severe oscillations and instability improper gain adjustments may cause severe damage to the drive and or the machine so we read the warning we're going to press C to continue this is the parameter menu we have these four menu items right here operation mode and scaling encoder emulation setup error reaction and torque limits here's our gain parameters motor and drive parameters and down here we can save the data that's uh, on the e-square prom of that program module to the hard drive on this laptop let's go look at the mo operation mode scaling press one key here are the values associated with that menu item let's press escape we'll go to 2 this is incremental encoder setup down here's the rotor position in real time press escape let's go to menu item 3 error reaction and uh, the current selection is zero the drive automatically switches to velocity loop regulation and provides a velocity command value of zero if there's an error press the escape key go to menu item 4 torque slash current limits pressing the escape key we're going to look at the gain parameters by pressing the number 5 key let's change it real quick you can see the blinking cursor right here now remember we're gonna go back to 30 when we're done changing it but type in your value we'll say 25 and press enter and now the values change to 25 let's change it back to 30 the original value type in 30 at the cursor and press enter let's press the escape key and let's look at menu item number six press the number six key and this is the drive and motor parameters the drive is a DDS 2.1 dash W100 dash D the drive is an MDD 071 B dash N dash 030 dash N2S dash 095 PA1 nice let's press the escape key and you have these options down here you can save the parameters to disk that's number seven number eight is load parameters from disk number nine feedback and amplifier data let's go look at the uh, uh, item number nine
In this menu, you get an overview about the internal data stored in feedback and amplifier by Indramat. There is no possibility to edit them, so there's no blinking cursor on this uh, menu item. Read only. Let's press escape. Press escape. We're back at the main menu. There you go, folks. That's how you use Hyper Terminal, how you set up Hyper Terminal to communicate to the Indramat Servo Drive. I hope you all are having a good day. We're not doing too bad here. Not too bad at all. We'll see you next time.